Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, December 28th, 2022. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Linsworth for Longmont Public Media. Thursday, 29th, we have our first quarter moon in the evening sky. As skies should clear out after this uh, system on Wednesday and should look very nice in the south. The northern hemisphere of the sun has some sunspot activity going right now, but uh, nothing else happening there. Looking at drought conditions over the last couple of weeks, uh, things got a little better out on the eastern plains. There was that additional moisture out there, but not much else has changed, which is pretty normal for winter. Looking nationally, pretty similar except out here in the southeast, a huge uh, region got rain and drought conditions have lessened. Going back and looking in the west, things got a little bit better in uh, the west of California up into Nevada, and that's really going to change over the next few weeks. Looking at our snowpack, we've gone right above, now going to 93, then 106%, 108%, and back to 95% snowpack, but we're kind of dancing back and forth around normal. The next couple of storm systems are going to dump a lot in the mountains, so we should see this go into the uh, 100 plus percent area pretty nicely. And then on the 28th, we're right at 100%. So fantastic news there. Um, for the pre-Christmas snowstorm, uh, Longmont got uh, around four to five, six inches of snow. Boulder did, as it usually does, really well with six to eight inches down here. Broomfield around five or six. Areas up above Boulder got uh, up to 10 inches of snow. Looking at precipitation, there's the good amount of water content up to two to three inches in the yellows wide areas of a half inch to an inch so we just keep uh, the hydrology going very nicely okay turning to forecast looking into severe weather uh, severe weather is non-existent though there are some uh, thunderstorms that can occur in northern Arizona Four Corners area as this system approaches it'll a marginal risk in the east Texas up in the Arkansas area for Thursday and then just a chance of thunderstorms Friday. This is not a very vigorous system like some of the earlier ones that created tornado outbreaks in December. It is a big messy wet one though. We have a primary low and have over uh, Vegas on Wednesday morning. We got showers behind with the next system. Snow, mountain snows, rain, snow mix in the purple. Uh, all over the place for Wednesday. Going into Thursday becomes uh, a storm out on the plains and up in the western slopes. And then for Friday, another heavy western slope storm that should allow us to uh, warm up with some downslope on this side of the mountains. Uh, no organized fires going on in the whole west, no smoke issues at all. Over the next 10 days, our normal high temperature goes from 43 to 44. We are now starting to see a rise in the normal temperatures. We've hit the bottom, uh, 17 up to 18 for normal. We've got Wednesday, Thursday storm here, very tight, very short duration system, like 12 hours or so of rain and snow. And then a little longer uh, drawn out event, uh, January 1st, 2nd, maybe even lasting some effects into the third. Looking at Tuesday into Wednesday's uh, <coughs> Water vapor satellite imagery. We see a lot of moisture coming up from the tropics ahead of this low as it moves in. Tuesday, ahead of this system, we had downslope winds and ridging overhead. We had temperatures that were 20, even 30 degrees above normal on the eastern plains. It was pretty uh, amazing there. So the highlights in the pattern for the next week start with the storm on uh, the day I'm recording, Wednesday, with the deep trough moving in and snow with a surface low down here in the Oklahoma Panhandle. Uh, we have a ridge moving in over the weekend and so very nice uh, conditions and then upper level low almost goes right over the top of Denver Longmont on Thursday the 2nd. We have another system right behind it too so a pretty active pattern setting up the east coast of the U.S. will be uh, very dry and abnormally warm. Looking at this surface precipitation on the second, we have a good 
12, 18 hour period in which uh, rain and snow are possible. So over the next 10 days, we see the initial storm system coming in, going up over the ridge in the east. The deep south component here, we'll get Texas and those storms going down there. The next storm system moves in. Here's January 1st, New Year, 2023. The low goes right up and over. And then there's the second load back here. It's going to be interesting to watch. I think it goes too far south as well to give us much on the third or fourth, but uh, it could lift a little further north and really draw out the precipitation some. Temperatures are just amazingly warm in the center of the nation and the eastern plains. We have this little bitty front coming through right now. It's just not going to bring much cool air at all. Everything warms up again. And we have this Pacific flow coming in for the first and second. None of the real purples uh, moving in like we had with the last system. We may see that middle, late January come again. But yeah, there's Dakotas get some really cold air, but that's not too unusual for them. Okay, looking at this surface system, there goes our Wednesday, Thursday storm at the beginning of the forecast system. Here comes a tremendous amount of rain and mountain snows for California, Oregon, Washington. They're really going to fill up some lakes out there. And this system comes in and really cranks uh, over us for a day or two. And there's that deep south component with that second lobe in the upper level pattern. Over the next five days, we might see a quarter inch, tenth of an inch on the plains. There's areas bolder to Denver that may see more of three quarters of an inch, but some of that may come down as rain at the beginning. The models have been kind of crazy as to how much snow is going to hit um, right west of Denver and then up to Boulder. This model is giving local areas five, six inches. I just don't know about it, though. Um, the... Weather 5280 folks, and there's a formatting problem from PowerPoint. Um, they have about one to three inches for most of the areas from Longmont down to Colorado Springs. But if banding sets up, then you could get three to six inches in some areas. So it just gives us like training of, of precipitation. Uh, mountains just do incredibly well. We can get 12, 18 inches down here, 24 to 36 inches near Silverton and Telluride, fantastic mountain snows. Over the next 10 days, a lot of moisture. One, two, three and a half inches of actual water content. And down in the plains, we get maybe an inch on the side of west side of Denver, a half inch, three quarters of an inch up along I-25. And some really good snows over that New Year's storm. So here is five inches more. This is an addition to whatever we get Wednesday, Thursday. So this next system right at the beginning of the new year really needs to be watched. And two huge areas of two foot snow totals. Are, and this is using 10 to 1 snow ratios, not the fluffier uh, ratios you get for cold weather. So we start with a really good chance of precipitation on Wednesday. Things dry out. Very little chance of stuff, even though there will be... Uh, Precipitation hitting the western slopes, it's pretty unusual for it to push all the way over unless the winds really increase. We have the Sunday Monday storm coming in, temperatures drop down, not to extreme levels. I mean, 10 degrees at night is about as low as it gets, but uh, I'll give some good fluffy snow if, if it's still snowing at that time. January early outlook has below normal temperatures north of us and above way out in the southeast, equal chances of above or below normal and same frequent chances of above or below normal precipitation as the nor northern tier stays pretty wet i think it really should be west coast uh, above normal you're going to see a lot of precipitation move in through that um, and if we do get that real cold shot mid-january uh, kind of a a sun of the cold shot we got in december then that would change everything Longmont Leader and Broomfield Leader has lots of local news and frequent weather updates by me. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ainsworth. Keep looking up.